Hello, my name is Paul Demaray, Senior Instructional Designer and Project Manager for Online Learning and Services. Welcome to Online Teaching Essentials, or OTE. This introduction video will serve two purposes. One is to act as an introduction to this course, and two, to act as an orientation to the course contents and navigation. This online facilitated course is designed to provide you with the skills and tools to successfully design and teach in both the online and hybrid environments. By the time this course ends in four weeks, you will have the skills and knowledge to feel comfortable in your new role as an online instructor. Online Teaching Essentials is hosted in the university's learning management system, Blackboard. Blackboard offers a variety of tools and functions that will help you organize and deliver your course. Without further ado, let's take a look at the course navigation. Along the left side of the browser window is the primary course navigation menu. The major content areas and tools can be found here. This navigation menu is divided into four sections, orientation materials, course content, tools, and help resources and policies. At the top of the navigation menu is the home page. Clicking home will always take you back to the main course landing page. Getting started, you have already visited. This section acts as the orientation to the course. The OTE syllabus can be found just below the getting started section. You'll notice that the syllabus for this course is fairly robust at just over eight pages. Online syllabi are often longer than those for face-to-face -face courses because in online teaching, the need to be explicit is very important. Your instructor's biography is the next item. Your instructor's contact information is in the syllabus, but to find out a little bit more about your facilitator, you can look here. Under the content subheader, you'll find announcements first. This is where you access the instructor's messages for you. Effective use of the announcement tool can really save a lot of time in one-on-one -on -one emails when you teach online. The next is course content. This is where the bulk of the materials you will need to access are stored and presented. Finally, we have the discussion board. Click here to access the course discussions. The tools section is an area you will almost certainly customize based on your unique needs. There are dozens of tools available in the learning management system. In this course, we're using the calendar, grade center, and email tools. Help and policies is where you will find resources to help you with the questions about Blackboard and other technologies you might want to use in your online teaching. There is also a list of technologies supported by the university's eStudio department. This course is divided into four modules. Each module runs for one week and is focused on one major aspect of online pedagogy. The four modules of the course are Foundations of Online Teaching, Writing Goals and Objectives, Teaching Strategies for the Online and Blended Environments, and Assessments in the Virtual Classroom. Each module is organized the same way, although the actual items may vary depending on instructional needs. Every module will have an overview section where you can find a short description of the module and why it is important in the grand scheme of online teaching. Also included are the module learning objectives. Next is the module introduction video. These videos, one in each module, present the course content along with module-specific instructions you might need to be successful in the course. Videos like these are a good way to inject some personality and presence into your online classroom. Readings are presented next. These are links to electronic copies in PDF format of the assigned course content. Below readings is the content folder. In this folder, you will find videos created by online learning and services staff, tutorial videos to help you complete assigned work, and lecture content aggregated from open education resources. Next, in module one, you will find a short quiz you can use to see how well you are following the instruction. Blackboard has a robust built-in test and quiz tool you can use to create objective and essay style exams for your course. Below the quiz, you will find your first online discussion activity. You can access the discussion board by clicking on the link here. Finally, we have the first piece of your course design project. An overview of the project is available in the syllabus while the instructions for completing each of the four deliverables are located within the weekly modules. This concludes the orientation video. Welcome again to Online Teaching Essentials. Please take advantage of this opportunity to immerse yourself in all things online.